Of that helmet, please. He's had to wait in line again, all day. Hurry up and wait again. It's almost 5 p.m. and Tony straps in ready to go. He's at the head of the queue, but officials close the course for the day. Sorry about that. The joys of Bonneville, so they tell me. Hmm? The joys of Bonneville, so they tell oh, me. Oh, yeah. It's not Bonneville, it's an adventure. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So close, yet so far. They leave the car right there for the night. Tony will be first cab off the rank in the morning. Yep, okay. This time's for real. Yeah, these are right. <laughs> they can't stop me now. Five minutes. Tony has to do a qualifying run first time. He has to stay under his goal of 200 miles per hour. And if he does it right, he's licensed for the big one. I can't imagine what he's thinking right now. Changing gear with hand controls at this speed? That's one heck of a bumpy ride. Man, look at the salt showering him. From a distance, the course looks really smooth, but Tony's got to fight the steering wheel just to keep it going straight. Man, this is a blast. Now, I've done a lot of stuff in my life, but this is pretty much up there, I think. To hear these cars going at the speeds that they are, and to just know that I was one of them two minutes ago. It was a pretty cool feeling. So now, we've, we're now we've uh, hopefully qualified, and I am no longer a rookie. Tony gets another couple of runs in, but he hasn't cracked 200 yet. Is it even possible? You know, we haven't got the right car. Yeah, we got an old dragster that's, uh, that five months ago was racing around Merry Merry Drag Strip in New Zealand. And here we are, you know, five months later in Bonneville, doing, trying to do 200 miles an hour. 6,000 on the clock, maybe 190, I hope. There was heaps better. I, woo I don't think I, I don't think I took a breath for, <laughs> for two miles. <laughs> Time to do a little maintenance and squeeze the last drop from the dragster. What we've done is so we've now gone up with probably four gear sets which will allow the engine to rev more. You turn those revs into wheel speed through, the, through these gears and hopefully we're going to increase the mile an hour at the end of the day. Another run. But today is not his day. Went a little bit faster. We had probably another two or three hundred revs in it, but like I just backed, I backed out of it a couple of times. Just well, we don't back out of it, but you just feather it, just try and hold it steady. He's got one day left to reach his goal. We're now on the long course, and um, this is going to be our last run, and we're just going to go as fast as we can. That's um, we've done everything we can with the car. We've had five other runs on it now. There's not really, there's just nothing else. The, the only opportunity we've got is to go on the long course and just stretch it as far as we can. So that's what we're going to do. But Mother Nature has the last word. The wind shuts the course down. It's over for another year. 182 mile an hour is not bad. It's the fastest I've ever been in a, in a vehicle. We will be back. We will work on the project of getting a car here for next year. The thing is, when I set my mind to something, it actually, uh, it always happens. And, um, and I think that if it won't be 2009, it'll be 2010, but I will be back. Tony's next challenge, contesting the Tauranga seat in the upcoming election. I'd vote for you, Tony, but I don't live in Tauranga. But we will be seeing more of Tony at the Attitude Awards on December the 